I'm going to show you how to display jail account line items with the Fiori app and the transaction code in SAP S4 MS system. My name is Undish and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for a project, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. <laughs> Using the transaction code FAGLL03, we can display the line items of the GL accounts in s system. However, we have a much, much better Fiori app that is an improvement of this, of this transaction code and you have to access via the Fiori launchpad. And now without, and now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP re menu. So this is our transaction code. I'm going to double click to enter in the transaction code. Here I have the gel account that I want to display. And then my company code, if I want to see open items or clear items, I can choose also all items here. I can put the dates and here we can click and have more information. For example, if I wanted to have all only documents created on certain date, I would be putting that there. So I want to get out here. We can choose the ledger of my company code. I want to display the zero L. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to click here to get all the gel accounts into my screen. Okay, now we are here. If I click down, you can see that we have other accounts here. Okay? This is the end of this account and starting a new account. Let's uh, have an example. I can like, I have the assignments. I can also add other fields into the, to, into the, to, to, into with this report, like for example, the posting date, document date. I will posting here, I will put it there. Posting date, copy. And then we have here the posting date. If we go down, we can see that this, this is the way to display. It's a bit heavy to display this as it is. Now we go to the Fiori Launchpad. Our tile is going to be display line items in general, general ledger account. I'm going to click here. And we are going to see this is much easier to understand and to work. Starting from the top, I have the ledger. These are all the ledgers of my company code. Company code, I'm not going to put anything for the gel accounts. Open items, all items are clear items. We're going to keep open items. And here we have the controlling area. So if I want to adapt, add more information here, I just need to click adapt fields and I have all of these fields to, to add. For example, I'm going just to choose the, um, the chart of accounts as an example. This is the chart of accounts. If I will have several chart of accounts of my company codes for the, the company code, which is not the case. Mine is the YCOA, the standard one. I click here, this would be, and then okay. This would, would be giving me much more information. If I want to save this as a variant for using next time, I will go here, save, I will put set as default and then I will write SAP for all, which means if I enter in the Fiori app again, this information here will get as default. I can show you straight away. Going back, display line items. And as you can see, SAP for, for all came by default. I'm going to click here. So now this is a different way of displaying the, the line items. So I have the company code, I drill down, I have the gel accounts and inside of each gel account, I have the document numbers inside of each gel account that compose the balance of the gel accounts. If you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a like to us <coughs> to help this video to be delivered for other people that are also searching for SAP knowledge. So this is a way that you can also share SAP knowledge only by displaying or watching this video. Then, uh, what, then what we have here is uh, something also important to show. In here, I can click here and I can display the line item, which means that I would have 
the basic uh, fields, and then um, the financial accounting. Of, so I have the document type, KR, and then fiscal years. I have the fiscal year variant of my company code, which is much more complete uh, rather than the transaction codes that we have for doing the same thing. I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you something else that you also can save. I'm going to remove the assignment from here, assignment reference. I'm going to remove the assignment reference, press OK. Then go, so there is no assignment reference anywhere. And then I'm going to add the assignment reference. Assignment reference, which is in the end, we just need to click here and then move it to here. So now we are going to see that it's pretty simple to export this. So I just need to click that and then save as and export this to SAP for all. And then I export this to Excel, which is much, much easier rather than in the SAP. When we go back here, you can see this came by default. I can click in the standard and then press go again. It's giving me something different. I feel this Fiori app much more intuitive and much more easier to uh, navigate. Please leave in your comments what is your opinion. Now you know how to display GL accounts line items using the Fiori app or the transaction code in SAP as for the system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget, subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.